my wonderful achievers. I am back with another very interesting question for all of you today. Why is melatonin called as the sleep hormone? Now this is a very interesting question and the answer to this is very simple. So in under 5 minutes I will be telling you the answer. So stay tuned till the very end to know why we call melatonin as the sleep hormone. Now before of course I get into melatonin and sleep hormone and all of that, we must first have a basic understanding of what are hormones. Now we know that hormones are nothing but they are chemical messengers that are responsible for carrying out chemical coordination in our body where different activities that happen within our body are coordinated. Now here we're talking about two things. We are talking about something known as a sleep hormone. Now from the name itself, we can understand that this particular hormone that we are talking about is responsible for re regulating our sleep cycle. Or I would say the 24 hour biological clock. Now this 24 hour biological clock that is there inside our body is responsible for telling us that these many hours is when our body should rest and you know go to sleep and this is when it can be active and carry out its function. So we call it as a biological clock or a more technical term would be the circadian rhythm. Now how is this circadian rhythm maintained? That is what we need to find out today. Now what happens is that this circadian rhythm is maintained by a hormone produced inside our body known as melatonin. Now what happens is that during the day, right? During the day we know that there's a lot of light that is there around us. And light that is there is perceived by our eyes. And this message of course is then sent to the brain. Which will tell our brain that okay due to the light intensity we know that it is the day. But what happens is that as this day slowly turns into sundown and night, we see that this intensity is also detected. That means the lowering intensity of light gets detected by the eye and a message gets sent to a very important gland that is located in the brain, which is known as the pineal gland. And this pineal gland is what is responsible for producing melatonin. Now, melatonin levels are usually less during the day, right? So during the day, not a lot of melatonin gets produced. But as it becomes sundown and it turns night, this increases the production of melatonin, almost causing like a melatonin drain inside our body. And this is an indication. This is a message to the body that it's time to take rest and go to sleep. Now, there are various factors, as you see, that regulates sleep. But the most important thing that is responsible for this is the sleep hormone that is melatonin, hence the name. Which is why it is also recommended that during the night, maybe two hours before going to sleep, you can dim down the lights and it's advised that when you're about to sleep, do not use any devices such as your mobile phones, your laptops or even, you know, the screens that are there, the tablets that are there. So that you know now that the reason being that light can in turn affect the production of melatonin, which is your sleep hormone. So with this, of course, you know the answer to the very simple question that is why is melatonin known as the sleep hormone? Because it regulates your 24 hour biological clock or your circadian rhythm. So now I hope that you found this very helpful and very interesting. If you did, I would request all of you to be a part of our universe. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends about this, that this is the place where we give you simple questions and the answers to those questions as well. So do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, of course, do be a part of our family, right? Not just in our on YouTube, but in Baiju's itself. Yes, so of course we have this amazing offer going on for the mini learning programs and if you are one among the 500 students, the first 500 students, you can avail the code that is the YT first code where you will have access to the two teacher advantage with live doubt solving and you will have an immersive visual experience in learning all your concepts. 
And of course, do not forget to register for ANTE, that is the Akash National Talent Hunt exam. It's happening in November and you know that there are a lot of things which are up for grabs. So do not forget to subscribe and get registered because the registration here is absolutely free. So with this, of course, we come to the end today. You know that your 9th and 10th channel has always got you covered. So again, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hoping to see you again with a very interesting question. Bye-bye and have a nice day.